About a week or two ago, I showed off this new phaser pedal I put together, but the only problem is, at high volume levels, you get a lot of noise. I want to try to get rid of this noise. My first plan of attack was to line as much as I could of the inside with HVAC foil tape, but I didn't realize that only one side was highly conductive, so these strips are actually not electrically connected. I could get some electric paint, but a small tube is like $14, which is a little bit expensive. One thing I remembered from my school days is that graphite is actually highly conductive. Now it's not the 1700s, so our pencils are no longer made out of pure graphite, but there's still a good amount in there, and so we just want to make sure that the mix we have is conductive enough. My little drawing here will act as a variable resistor, so as we move the two wires closer, the resistance will drop and the LED will get brighter, and also the inverse, the more we move them away, the dimmer the LED will get. Okay, so we know this graphite is pretty reasonably conductive. I didn't get a video of it, but I just um, attached two things across one of these sticks and it was very conductive as well. I don't have a mortar and pestle, so I found two rocks outside and I'm gonna crush this stuff to a powder or at least try. The basic plan here is to get this as crushed down as finely as possible, then mix it with white glue to try to make a conductive paste. We've got enough powder for what we're going to need, so let's give it a shot on a test run. I wasn't quite sure what type of mixture to use, so uh, for the test run I kind of just added a little bit more powder than glue. Um, I saw in the second run that you'll want more of a slurry, so oh, maybe a little bit more glue is better. After giving this a few minutes to dry, let's give it a test. Like I mentioned, this batch is a little chunky, but it does work. I mean, it's functional. We have a current throughout basically all parts of the little glob that I threw down. As you can see, it was kind of crudely pasted between the strips to try to electrically join them.
We have to make sure that it actually works right or else this was for pretty much nothing. As I probe around, you'll see that these resistance values are kind of high. These are in the magnitude of somewhere between generally 1 to 2 point something million ohms, but it does show that it is connected all around. So you're probably wondering what this sounds like now. Let's find out. A little bit of noise, but how does it compare to before? Remember that this is actually at max volume as well. And there you have it. It may be crude, but it works. I would like to maybe try a better version of this in the future. Thanks for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed it, please rate and comment down below. If you want to see more videos as they come out, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks again.